on YouTube. So in this video, I'm just gonna go through some of the key anchor points that I use, whether that's uh, removal or whether it's pruning just on a day-to-day -day basis. from there so say this this is so it's gonna do a running bowline so you'd obviously get your shot your throw line have it isolated and then all you do is do your running bowline and just the key thing is just to make sure that you do some form of a stop and knot or a Yosemite with this one um, just to because it's gonna be life support um, so literally that would be it you send that up and you could have this as your anchor point, you, you could also then send it up with uh, another rope attached for retrieval. Or you can send it up for attached, then you can use this one with a double rope system and then carry on from there. So that's the most basic way that I use to get into the tree. So improving on the running ball line would be to add a ring into there, which I'm doing more and more now, just the fact is just to minimize the wear on your ropes. So obviously you'd do the running bowline, but instead of going around the rope, you'd go around the ring. Then, then this just minimizes, like I was saying, the, uh, the wear, wear and tear on your ropes. Um, so you don't damage your rope. Just like that. So you'd, again, you could have your retrieval line on here. And this would cinch up onto the top. And then as you see, now it's rubbing on the ring rather than rope on rope, which then just makes it then it's more viable to climb off as well. Still, this should be only used really for either access or just quick pruning, like a quick uplift or nothing really major. It's all I'd use it, really use it for. And then obviously you can retrieve it with your line. <clears throat> so again, if you've got your shot into the tree, isolated, uh, another slightly maybe better way friendly to have less gear involved would be to do an alpine and then all you do then is just put this end through it so then this allows it to cinch to the top so you've got your working end and then you've got a retrieval end so just bear in mind that your rope is long enough you could make it so it's an endless loop if your rope isn't long enough but then again you'd Ideally, you want to use this for access rather than working off because you've got, again, wear points here where you'll rope, rope and rope, which if you're in a tree for quite a long period of time, constantly doing this, it does wear it is what I've found. Um, so then you'd have your retrieval, but obviously you want to come parallel as well, both lines together when you retrieve, otherwise this would not retrieve very nicely and add a lot of friction here when retrieving. So mainly just purely used for access generally. Again, going from that last demonstration there to make it better, if you were to uh, add a ring before sending it up and over the branch, you can then have this, so you can do a midline ring. Bear with me if it's not something I tie very often. So you do an alpine with a ring in it and then you'd put your end is pulled over through the ring so again this is something you could potentially more work off if you've got a really high anchor point because obviously you can't advance the anchor point once you've uh, set this up with your retrieval line and then you've got your um, working end but again it just minimizes the friction here on the rubbing point, so there's something you could work off and maybe get away with, like maybe one redirect and it'd still pull out. Um, so that's another method. This one, next one I thought I like a lot, so it seems that we've still got the ring on it. Again, get your rope isolated. You shove the end through here, and then all you'd have to do is do a alpine on this side so that the ring is just floating in the middle, and then add a carabiner here, just to stop it obviously pulling for the ring just as a backup, so then you'd again pull it up. This is something again if you've got top shot, something you can work off, 
you got a retrieval end here. It just allows you to get away with like maybe two redirects with this, something like that. Um, so if you're doing to do a little bit more in the tree, um, which is brilliant. And obviously when you retrieve it, the ring is just floating. So one thing to be aware of is that if you've done redirects, the ring might stay at the top for quite a while until this drops out the redirect and then it slides down just like that. So be aware that this could pull through, leaving the ring at the top and then come off the ring and the ring could fall to the floor. So just be aware of that. You don't want your hardware that you're putting your life in falling to the floor or damaging something like a greenhouse or something on the floor. So, but that is a really good way just because there's a lot less friction at the end point when you're retrieving, you can get away with a little bit more redirects and stuff. So say you did to send it up in using one of those other methods that I showed you and then it weren't quite high enough into the canopy and you were doing like a full reduction on the tree. So you obviously your anchor point's gonna be there for a long time and you potentially gonna do a lot of redirects. So you get up to here, bringing in another rope with you. Then you could leave this as an access line as well for rescue. So then you'd wanna advance, so you get to your final tying. You put your anchor point in and then this is just a, uh, a ring and ring, so you could use either like a normal cambium saver or a thimble saver like this, or even a snake tail, something like that. So you'd go big ring, little ring, working end on the big ring side. You'd do an alpine or something to as a blocker. You can, if you've got a lot of rope, just put the end of the tail through the alpine, so obviously it can't come undone. So there you'd have a, an anchor point there where it's a blocker. So then you can climb around, you can do as many redirects as you want, pretty much. And this will then retrieve from this side. What you could do with having your access line here, if you made it so then your retrieval line can reach your access line, all you'd have to do then is just clip in your access line into the retrieval end. You go about, do all your work like you would do. With this being the working end, you get to the floor and then what you do then is retrieve it from your working end. We should then pull everything out together using the retrieval access line that you used. So I'll just quickly pull that through so you can see what it would look like. And so you've gone about your day, you've finished, you've put your retrieval ball on the end, and then you use the access line that you came up on originally, the retrieval side, which then would pull your retrieval line out and also the line you were just working on would then come out bringing it all to the floor in one go okay see now that you'd got into the tree and you're in a tree which has a lot of tight forks tight unions um and you're trying to think of um that if you put your cambium saver up here it's just going to get stuck when you try and retrieve it but down here there's a nice open fork where it's 100 going to fall out what you could do then if you do a, what they call a cano base, so you'd get your rope, you could then, you've just got it here, you've climbed up, you can throw it over the branch you want, and then using the, um, camp, the nice union, open union lower down, you'd go again, big ring, little ring, and then you could connect to your alpine, to stop it pulling through. Connect this to your retrieval line or have it long enough to reach the floor. But now what you've done is you've gotten a nice high anchor point that you wanted where it'll pull through nicely, but you've anchored it lower down. So this is a cano base and this is very good because it's the coming theory is generally upside down or you've done it so in a way so it's pulling from the bottom side of the, of the limb lower down. So when, it, when you retrieve it, it all falls out a lot, lot easier. So I'll just change this so I can show you the retrieval. Okay, so we'll just uh, show you the retrieval. So now you'd, you'd get to the floor, you would uh, install your retrieval line, take off your system, retrieval ball, sorry, not retrieval line. <laughs> and then, like before, you would retrieve your line. As you see, the cami saver is always starting to fall out already. Your ball would go for that nice tight fork, hopefully. And then you'd pull out 
and play camion saver out the tree. So a lot more, I say you used a lot more in anchor points where you know your, your uh, camion saver might get stuck. It's a lot easier to do that method as well. So that was pretty much all the uh, anchor points I use. There is a couple others, but they're just really complicated, so I won't show you them just yet. So that was just a basic way, intro into canopy anchors and methods of getting into the tree, especially without using base tie as well. It's obviously a lot more safer to be able to isolate your union rather than base tie, but base tie has its, has its options there in the tree in the working world. Um, so yeah, if you uh, enjoyed it, give it a like, hopefully, this method using the blocks on the wall is okay and I didn't because I've not used a tree here. Um, comment below if you thought this was good or if you'd prefer to see it in a tree in real life uh, scenarios. Um, so yeah, so that was the video. If you like more, I'll, I'll do more of these sort of things or I can just carry on with my vlogging at work. Um, but yeah, if you liked it, give it a like and I'll uh, see you on the next one.